MLB not stars, Ryan Flaherty. This is Corey, and this is the Other Anthem Podcast. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Rob. Took you enough time to come up with that. Yeah, well, <laughs> can't can I, Curry genius. Yeah. Well, I, I would I would just do songs every single time, mm-hmm. just like you know, like. <laughs> but I, I did that last week. And then right. also, like, I think of, like, a song that I want to do, but then I don't know if I know the lyrics entirely right. <laughs> so I don't want to, like, sing it and, like... Get called out Or just later. start doing the, like, uh... Oh, God, what was the... I, the song was, like, stuck in my head, but I don't remember any of the words. Like, uh... Hey now, hey now, the beeping song. Like, what, whatever <laughs> that is, just do that thing where I'm just, like... What you do in the car? Hey now, hey yeah. now, the boots are yeah. Hey now. <laughs> go on the hey now. <laughs> Just making up words as you go along. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, everybody. Speaking welcome of making podcast. up words as you go along, welcome to the Yo the Anthem podcast. <laughs> this is Corey. And it's Rob, and we are now in our 66th episode, so you yeah. already know that we just make shit up as we go along. So right. right? <laughs> welcome to the show that never ends. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it feels like it. <laughs> Uh, before we get too far in, I would like to say that I am loving the fact that I got down here to the Eastern shore with n- absolutely no trouble. Mm-hmm. No, uh, we're live in Denton. Denton, Maryland. Uh, I don't know if you can Ooh. smell that smell through your YouTube <laughs> or your podcast, but you know, yeah, if you can, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I don't it's, like it either. <laughs> it's somewhere between wet sock and fart. <laughs> It's like a like a masterful combination of the First, two. We're out of the planting season. You're not smelling that when you come down anymore. It's just you know the smell of openness. It's I not will a dirty city. I will. T- well, anyway, so uh, we got big news coming. Yeah, the anthem community. What's all, going on? All kinds of oh, the anthemy things are happening. <laughs> Breaking news. First of all. Uh, Sidebar, enjoy that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like an actual sidebar, like, yeah. The, the bit, um, <laughs> like the bit. Go ahead, you just mumbling into it? nothing. No, no, it's all right. <laughs> I think that did it plenty. <laughs> that's that's actually kind of like the best representation of the sidebar joke yes. ever. It's just yeah. sort of like I go really hard into it, and then I realize I don't want to do it, Out and then I'm just like. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> If you want to know what Corey's going to look like in 40 years, that's it. it just every topic is mumbling into like, oh, wait, nobody cares. Okay. Oh, kids these days and their fancy new what? <laughs> yeah, basically. So <laughs> It's like a senior whenever he comes into the office. <laughs> right. He'll start talking about the Orioles and he'll just be like, how about that Machado? And I'll be like, hey, had a great game. Yeah, it's a gum boom. <laughs> <laughs> I just I didn't want to talk to you. I just did not throw it out. Did not get the last part. Of it. It's like the new version of like, hey, how's it going? How's your day? You don't actually want somebody to answer. No, you just no. want a good, and then fine. All right, see ya. Uh, or I I don't even cut out the middleman, and I'm like, hey, how are you? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Let's just both ask questions. Yeah. Neither of them will get answered, and we can walk our separate ways. <laughs> Thanks. I'm an east going sex. I only go <clears throat> east. Mm. Mm. Anyway, exciting or the anthem related news. Um, the love letter gonna be posted this week. <laughs> nope i I know that laugh. I know that familiar laugh. Oh yeah. Uh, but uh, I got the word from her today mm-hmm. that it's gonna be done today. Okay. Uh, if it's not, then I'm just gonna go by her apartment. And gonna take it. I'm gonna be like, whatever you've done, it's done now. It's done now. Yeah. I don't see you doing that either. And then it'll, so. and then it'll be released this week. Okay, we'll see. Date to be determined. What we'll should we see. do? What day? Thursday? Okay. Doesn't matter to me because I don't think you'll hit it anyway. Okay. <laughs> I think that you'll look at it and be like, well, there's just one thing that I need to do. Just one thing and then I'll be fine. <laughs> Colin, we need to reshoot something, so I'm going to need you to gain some weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to uh, need you to gain all that all that Gary Shandling face stack. Right. And, and, then, then, uh, so wait, and you told me that uh, we're almost done on... Um, about that time too. Yeah, right? yeah. So that's the other thing. And just uh, for for our listeners who don't listen every week, uh, <laughs> about eight weeks ago, Corey made this pronunciation that it was uh, it was almost done. He was going to be finished it, and I yep. said, "Just wait," because I don't know that that's true. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> some two months later, yeah, where it's a it's going to be done. It is going to be done. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have 
uh, two scenes to write mm-hmm. and two scenes to fix. Okay. And then I do my quick like reading, reading through it and making sure there's no spelling errors. And that, that's going to be the problem there. That's going to be the problem. <laughs> I can already tell. I'm, I'm already feeling good about it. So. Uh, so anyway, so a lot of stuff happened this week. Yeah. Where um, do you want to start? Let's start with Baltimore. I mean, because it is what it is. Yeah. Um, have you seen that commercial with the peanut uh, butter factory? And uh, we talked about it last week. Where the, the people Twix one? Every no no everything's piling up. Oh the goat and the yeah. girl the girl's like what'd you say to me? <laughs> like, yeah, that, yeah, that is what happened in Baltimore this week uh, because Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake in her infinite wisdom um, decided to find herself a scapegoat. Yeah, and uh, they were do they're doing the pre incident or the post incident breakdown or whatever at the Hilton. Yeah. And uh, Commissioner Batts was there, and he mm-hmm. was. Uh, everybody was said there was a lot of good progress going on, and they were admitting mistakes, and they were making plans to address it. And he gets called away, and pff, he's fired. Well, I, I think we should start a little bit earlier in the day too. Okay, because something else happened. The FOP number three, which is the uh, Fraternal Order of Police for in Baltimore, Baltimore yeah. City, is uh, released their incident report. Right. I, I, I can't who remember. They blame. I can't remember exactly what they what they uh, called it. It's same. It's they're like an it. You know, like internal investigation. Yeah, it's it's Monday morning quarterbacking. Yes. It's just breaking down everything that happened. Um, now, who and did they blame? They blamed Stephanie Rawlings Blake, and they blamed Commissioner Batts and everybody else who was in command between uh, anyone above them police and the officers. Yeah. Well, basically, because basically, time. like there were. According to the report, there were many police officers who were going to sergeants and saying, like, you know. Like, what do we do? What, you know, can we do something about this? Like, this, this is, there's one isolated offender we can get. Right. And they're just like, no, they said nobody. Right. And apparently there was a whole process where they had to call into uh, police headquarters and talk to one of their lawyers <laughs> to explain the whole situation to figure out whether or not there was any chance that they would get. Like arrested right. for. What Meanwhile, they did. two days later, they're arresting protesters left and right for, yeah. for breaking an illegal uh, curfew. But right, nonetheless. So the FOP, of course. By the said, way, they also said that curfew is not illegal. I wonder who. Yeah, we'll see how that. I wonder how much campaign money yeah. changed hands mm-hmm. on that one. Yeah, uh, but no. So the police blame the higher ups and the mayor. Yeah, and then they right now what's going on? By the way, on the cover of that report, I don't know if you actually read it. No, no. but on the cover of the report, I'll put a copy of it in the show notes. Uh, uh, was just one quote. Okay, we gave those who wish to destroy room to do that as space to do that as well. <laughs> Mayor <laughs> Stephanie Rawlings Blake. <laughs> yeah, he, um. So the police uh, blamed the higher ups. Stephanie Rawlings Blake did much like uh, that group in the factory and found yeah. themselves a scapegoat. And Anthony Betts um, is gone. Mm-hmm. And I, for what it's worth, he was one of the most community oriented police commissioners. Yeah. He did start some reforms. He tried to do other reforms that were blocked by the mayor's office, like um, getting cameras for every single officer. Yeah. Which uh, the mayor vetoed. Right. Um, and then she, once, once this whole incident went through yeah she said okay we'll give him body cameras but four years from now and we've had more time to clean up this right we're going to clean up the mess show. first yeah. yeah so and then Freddie, but, i mean everything happened but, but it, it it doesn't take a a, a somebody who who's well trained in policy mm-hmm. to understand what's happening here uh anthony Batts was trying to turn around a department that needed a lot of work and it wasn't going to happen overnight no and uh, when there's a huge inciting incident like this, it, it it doesn't. You're not able to turn anything around at that point. Well, and he was fighting the mayor's office. He was fighting the DA's office. Mm-hmm. He was fighting the this rising movement of anti police sentiment. Well, that's the the other thing too. Is he he you know like especially with like the DA. Yeah, I mean he, he's doing that delicate act where you have to like are you like where you're friends with two people. Like, you're friends with two separate people, and then they yeah. start dating, and then all of a sudden it's just like... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then they break up, and it's like... <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Anthony Bass is gone. Uh, the interim commissioner is... Uh, Davis. Davis, who is below him. Right. And they're saying that they're going to go out of uh, out of the county, or out of the state, to find a new person, so... 
Oh, because that's what they've done for the last Worked out five police well. commissioners. He worked out super well thus far, so... So anyway, so don't. And go he enjoyed my the wheat. Don't go see Terminator because it'll ruin your childhood. And on more topics that'll ruin at least my childhood, uh, Bill Cosby in the news again. Yeah, this we've week. never really touched on. Uh, I didn't want to. Bill. I didn't want to because and both stories. This well, two stories that we're going to talk about. One, we didn't jump on Cosby because I am of the school that says don't don't ring the bell because that's a bell you can't unring. Right. And Hannibal Burris makes a joke, but I'm not in fucking Hollywood. I don't mm. know that there's this story going around that's right. going. But I know Hannibal Burris will say any fucking thing he can to make people laugh. So, yeah. and then pe- women are coming out, and then I get on that that maybe I shouldn't, but in that man mindset of okay, wait, all right, wait. This has been going on for forty years, and nothing has come out about it. Yeah, these are just women jumping on the bandwagon. But this week, I think. Well, hold on. About the about the everything that happened prior to this week, yeah, uh, I I prescribe uh, to a degree when when you have so many people coming out about it. Uh, I mean, like we're going to talk about Jared in a while. Yeah, this is Jared has one allegation against him, and I will. That's why I'm going. My position, but on I mean, that like, will be different. Yeah, right? but I mean, like when you have forty women come out or something like that, Here's and say that say that like pretty much the same exact thing happened every single time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like even if he didn't do, like, s- say he didn't rape the women as far as, like, you know, like, they passed out and he had sex with them kind of rape. Which apparently he did. But, uh, yeah, let's just say but he just, didn't. Like, you know, like, let's just say that he just really likes knocking people out with drugs. And then as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then as soon as they're out, he just sort of, like, flops a titty. And then he's just like, <laughs> wait, what ha, I just got you, Jello Pudding Pop. Like... <laughs> Oh, no, I can't eat pudding pops. <laughs> I got uh. your jello pudding. Get mm. your jello pudding. Anyway. Yeah, because then, cause then it, it, the, that's still terrible. It's still terrible. They but it's one out. of the, I feel like that there has to be some sort of bare minimum. There has to be a ground floor on this where it's true to an extent because so many people have come okay, out with a similar story. Here's what I'm going to say. So <laughs> the other thing I kept in mind was the 60s, 70s, and 80s I did not live through. Yeah. But I see movies like The Wolf of Wall Street and I say quaaludes were a fucking thing. And yeah. people love their cocaine and they love their quaaludes. Mm-hmm. And if I'm 17 and I'm in Hollywood and everybody's doing quaaludes and I take some quaaludes and I pass out – do I attribute that to the person who gave them to me, Bill Cosby? And right. do I blame him for me not knowing how to – like, you know, you have that friend that you don't want to go out with because when they get drunk, they get sloppy every time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you – because they don't know their limit. They don't know their limit. And the same thing. You, you're popping a handful of quaaludes. You have no idea what it's going to do to you. Um, and then you're blaming the person who was there. Yeah. Okay, so – and it was – my other part of that was just like you wait 40 years. You wait till this other stuff comes out and it's like, oh, yeah, no, he gave me drugs too. Yeah, but you asked him for them, and then you took them, and then you're upset about, you know, passing out because you took too many quaaludes. But I also just, I was one of those, I wasn't a defender, but I was just saying, let's wait. Let's just wait and see. Wait yeah. and see. Oh, I wasn't, then, I, was, I didn't want to say anything about Bill Cosby on the podcast right. for all this time because, I don't know. Right. And then this week. <laughs> yeah, and then this week came out. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I don't necessarily know where... Where uh, I, I feel like uh, Cosby's lawyer had to do this just because that's the only card he had. Right. But trying to argue that Bill Cosby was not a public figure and that this didn't, like... When I heard his <laughs> argument, yeah. I heard my my argument I've made many times at, during mitigation in a yeah. criminal trial. Like, listen, yeah, he went on a three-week spree fueled by drugs. That's absolutely right. Yes, people got hurt. But... In the last two weeks, he's been in rehab. He's trying to turn his life around. And I'm like, I know this is a ridiculous argument. Yeah. But I know everything that I'm saying is not necessarily true. I'm still going to say it. I'm yeah. still going to say it. Because it's your it only there. hope. Your it's only you hope got. is saying, like, listen, he's a private citizen. Yes. And he should have People barely know his name. People wouldn't be interested. <laughs> yes, there's other rape allegations. Why would they be interested in this rape allegation? <laughs> there's plenty to talk about. Why do they want to know about that? Um... Yeah, I mean, I feel like the the uh, the ability to defend him is sort of gone, and everybody has now, and I feel safe talking about it because everybody has turned on, on and said this is too much. Yeah. He- 
the reason we're talking about this, of course, is that Jared uh, Jared Fogel, the spokesman, who you will know as Jared from Subway. Yeah, the Subway guy. Uh, got his house raided, um, and it turns out what happened was that he made a comment, and the reason I, I went into that little that little thing is that he allegedly made a comment to a reporter in Florida about a middle schooler. Now, it's unclear if he knew that the girl was a middle schooler. It's unclear about anything, but he may or may not have made a comment about this girl being attractive, and that started the reporter contacting the feds. Maybe Jared just has a really sick sense of humor, too. Could be that, too. Yeah. That's not technically against the law. Hmm. No. And I think I've told this story fucking, before about being at spring fucking, break. Fucking a 14-year-old is against the law. Yeah. But if you say casually to somebody like, oh, man, I really wish I could fuck one of those 14-year-olds... <laughs> That's just in bad taste. It's a bad taste. It's a bad very joke. bad taste right. thing to do. And maybe it... But technically not illegal. And maybe it uh, means we should do a little investigation. Right. And maybe I can I, be okay with that. I'm perfectly fine with the feds invading your house for that. So here's the thing. <laughs> I'm not okay with that, but that's <laughs> a whole different thing. Um, but no, my problem is that we it's a bell you can't unring. Right. Cosby went 40 years without having that bell rung. Mm. And it turns out it should have been. Yeah. Far too many people... Like, Jared has lost his whole life, basically. I mean, I was talking to you about his Jared Foundation that is now never not going to be able to serve the purposes, even though they did very well, taking money and actually helping childhood obesity, which I found out that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, and he lost his career with Subway, and he'll never be able to get that back. And we may come to find out in, um, you know, in a couple of weeks that, oh, he had nothing to do with it. He didn't even know about it. And his whole life is ruined for nothing. Right. But you ring that fucking bell and you can't unring it. Yeah. So that's why we didn't talk about Cosby. Because I was like, you know what? Listen, let's hold off and just figure out. But then when he says he did it, then uh, we got a problem. See, but I think uh, what makes me feel like there's going to be uh, – if if all the allegations are untrue. Yeah. Uh, I think the reason why you'll be able to see Jared again – it's because he uh, put the weight back on. And no, though. We well, it. no, though. <laughs> he got fat when he wasn't in a subway and <laughs> indoors by a subway while they suspended it. Yeah, he's and now he, gets, and he put weight. on a little weight. And now he's walking the subway and getting it all off. Oh man, God, Jared, if you're listening, that's your perfect ploy right there. <laughs> Get fat again and then lose it again with subway. <laughs> well, they're investigating you for child pornography. <laughs> Just got fat all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, sorry. is Jared getting fat to be a Santa Claus mall Santa? <laughs> oh, that doesn't Jesus <laughs> Christ! Uh, see, and that, again, that's the bell you can't unring yeah. because people will say stuff like that. Yeah. You know, like uh, here he is playing with his nieces in the park. Should we be worried? You would have never said that, except right. for this girl saying something that took what he said out of context and blah, and now his whole life ruined. And, uh, if it's if it's tragic. all if it's all cleared, I imagine that there's. There's going to be a period of time where Subway has to have him back for a while. I think, and and I think that that's true. And they're going to have like their like good play, like where they go, like you know, like they'll put out a press release. He'll have a press conference. He'll go on all the news stations and yep. be like, "Happy to be back with Subway." And this is a really terrible thing ordeal to go through, but I'm glad that the legal process afforded me the right to prove my innocence. Right. Uh, I've. You know the only the only thing I've ever had an interest in children in is making sure that they are healthy and you know so on and so forth blah blah blah. Right. We get five Jared commercials or five commercials where we see Jared's face, mm-hmm. and then uh, quietly Subway tries to figure out a new marketing ploy. Um, but it's reserve judgment, and we'll find out what. Yeah, happens I, I, on the road. I don't. I don't think I, I'm not a, of of the mind to say Jared did it. Yeah. I am of the mind to now say that Bill Cosby did it. Though, yeah. So I yeah, feel I feel him. more I feel more secure about the Bill Cosby one. And I hope that he lost everything. I hope that he has no. I hope that he dies penniless, <laughs> and that they give Fighting all the civil his, lawsuits seventy million dollars to his victims and or whatever he's worth, and that yeah. he dies penniless, and that will be the final revenge for them is that they'll spend the money he spent a lifetime getting together amassing. So, yeah, yeah. So good. So. You can find more O the Anthem, O the Anthem.com, Corey at O the Anthem, 
uh, com. Oh, the Anthem on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, and the listener line, 443-219-7595. And if you have any stories about Rob Small Dick, that's the place to leave them. All my bitter exes can call what number again? 443-219-7595. By the way, uh, I do want to... Did I tell you about the documentary I was thinking about doing? No. We'll talk about it, and then we can bring it up next week. All right, sounds All right. good. Uh, so, yeah, so you can find me... <laughs> so maybe there's going to be another Oh, the Anthem... <laughs> project coming out soon <laughs> maybe so uh you can find me on all your social networks at robert and cheek uh and make sure you check out deaddrop.com for all the news you won't find anywhere else uh some of these stories will be on there although major stories generally you know uh we hit and miss, we hit it uh once and then let it go um FoundingTheFuture.us for the political blog and all my political writings robert and for all the books go to amazon Please buy my book. Buy Rob's books. And if you have read it, please, please, please go back and put in a uh, comment. I, do I love, love I love that one that you posted the other day. That, that was a text Yesterday. message yeah. somebody sent me. Yeah. And I, get, I tell her she needs to go on and put that on <laughs> uh, the Amazon comments. But if you've read it, please go comment uh, and come to the podcast and comment on iTunes and, and like and uh, subscribe on YouTube and everything that you can do. Uh, it just lets us know that you're out there and you're listening and like yeah. what we're doing. And whatever whatever platform you like, like so a lot of people like the YouTube because they like watching it and they like the video. Right and now, the sidebar is here, so that's all. Skip fun. to what you want to hear. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, if you like the YouTube, subscribe on YouTube. Right. If you listen to it while you're you know doing your run or something like that, subscribe on iTunes or podcast or dog catcher. Yeah. Dogcatcher. And we're going to be looking into still, um, what's the new one that just... Uh, Spotify. Spotify's new yeah. podcast, so you might be able to find us on there soon, so yeah. hopefully. Um, but yeah, so make sure you send us feedback. Just, yeah, I like it, or no, I don't, and let me tell you about Rob's small dick, and... Uh, <laughs> Corey sidebar stupid. <laughs> and then uh, uh, Rob's book uh, scared the shit out of me, and I couldn't sleep last <laughs> night, which apparently was what some... Rob book said. makes awesome toilet paper. <laughs> or that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so you've been listening to the O.D. Anthem podcast, part of the O.D. Anthem digital network. For Corey and Anne. Hey, Anne. Hey, Anne. This is Rob. Have a great week, everybody. And enjoy the All-Star break. And the pitch. So there you have it. That's the spotlight for episode 66 of the O the Anthem podcast. Make sure you check out the full version of the love letter available now on OTheAnthem.com. And you already got a taste of episode 66. Go back and check out episode 65. See what all the hubbub's about. And have a great week, everybody.